These are a couple of boards that use the well-known and for me well-liked NE5532 chip. Now I wanted to tell you, for those of you that don't already know, that most of these, no, a, a large quantity of the 5532s that you buy on Ali and eBay, Banggood, they're often fakes. Um, they are in fact surprisingly good fakes insofar as unless you were very critical and or had test equipment to be able to measure these or even know how to measure them, the chances are more than more than 50 50 chance that you will get a fake 5532 which is a kind of surprising chip to fake because they're already very cheap even if you buy them from a proper distributor as opposed to Ali Barber and the 40 thieves so I'm going to show you a simple way that you can test these for yourself the second way, which I'm not going to show, involves test gear and measuring slew rates of a high frequency square wave. This method of testing anybody with a, even the cheapest and nastiest of test meters can do. In this view of the 5532, you can clearly see the pin layouts and pin one is usually the one that also has an indentation of some sort on the chip to identify where, if you like, the front of the chip is. Now, all we're going to do is with our test meter, we are going to put the diode test on pins two and three and then reverse them so that it's then three and two and have a look at the results. This slide shows the schematic diagram of the 5532, courtesy of Texas Instruments. Now what we are looking at in, in particularly is this. This slide shows part of the input circuitry and what we're interested in in particular. Now these two transistors are connected across pins 2 and 3 and they're connected as diodes one in one direction and one in the other and this is how we can tell if the chip is genuine or not because the 5532 is one of the few that actually have reverse protection diodes in this manner and most of the copies don't have this i've mounted this 5532 on a bit of sticky equivalent to blue tack but it's white tack I put it on the meter simply to maintain the focus because I have to get quite close in here and to keep focus on the meter and the chip this is what I've done now this one I've just taken out of my bits box and I personally don't know if it's a fake or not so let's let's measure it We've got the meter on diode test and we're going to go across, if I can do this around the camera, on pins two and three. Right, that's a pretty average junction of a diode. Now we should get the same results if we go in the opposite direction, which we do. Now that, is not a 100% conclusive test, but there's a fairly good chance that is genuine. Now I have another one here. Now I know this one's fake, hence the red blob of nail varnish on it. Now, ironically, this does work, and on first listening, it does sound absolutely fine. But when you start measuring high frequency square waves, it really, does not perform well but I'm going to show you the diode test here oops 
There you are, across pins two and three. No diodes. Now we'll swap the thing around. And again, no diodes. So without doing any special tests, anything clever or anything like that, that this is a piece of AliExpress garbage. I don't know what chip it actually is, whether it's something like a 741 or something like that, I don't know. But it just seems a weird chip to clone when they're so cheap to start with. That's what they do and they make tons of money out of it. Now if you've got a project that's not that important, i.e. you just want a bit of amplification and it's not in anything certainly not anything to do with hi-fi, then this will work fine. And it does work fine. And most of the, the things that I've managed to measure it, measure with it, is the noise levels are a little bit higher, but not that much, surprisingly so. And the, even the fakes, apart from the fakes that don't work, of course, which are fake again, fairly common. These ones that do work and to the first listening sound okay. It's only really when you get down to fine parameters that you find they're somewhat lacking. Now this board I've used many times and I'm using one in my current um, module 80 um, integrated amplifier. Now every one of these that I've had has had fake chips on them. Other ones not so much but every one of these I've had eight of these so far and without question everyone has had a fake chip. Two of them uh, one channel wasn't working so fake or otherwise they're just junk and you can't use them just throw them away. But uh, the one I've just shown you with the um, nail varnish on um, actually performs quite well but just not as good and doesn't of course have those diodes across it. Get your meter out and dig out all your 5532s and let me know how you get on with that. Just as a very quick PS to this little story, I now have a policy that every single chip I receive that's a 5532, if it's faulty or fake like the ones I've shown you, I instantly get my money back from AliExpress. Um, I use AliExpress, but I'm, I'm, that's purely because that's where I picked up most of mine from. But I've got no reason to suggest they are the only culprit. And the retailer that sells these, you don't want to get too cross with them because they're just box pushers. They don't know what they're selling or probably don't even care.